Hey guys, uh, back today with the, uh, the AFL Draft program. Today we're going through the uh, mobility stuff that we'd like you to do the day before the game and leading up to your ga game on game day. Okay, the approach that we take is a ground up approach, so it's pretty simple. We literally start at the ground, we get the next contact from the ground is going to be your feet. We work up to your calves, we work up to your adductors, your TFL, uh, your lower back, your T-spine and your hips as well, they're in there. Um, okay, so starting off with the bottom of your feet. First one is a, a, a bottom foot release, so you plan a fascia, the fascia on the bottom of your foot. What I'm going to get right through is stand on top of this lacrosse ball. With a lot of pressure, he's going to plant his heel down on the ground. You've got to put all his body weight, so a lot of intent here, through that ball, trying to really squish the ball into the ground and work from the outside of his foot all the way through to his into the inside of his foot. So this is just under the ball of his foot. He's really trying to work out that soft tissue underneath his foot there. Okay, he comes back and forth a few times, a few passovers. After he's done that, he'll get the ball and he'll roll it a bit further into the, into the arch of his foot. So he'll start to move his foot a bit further up. Again, continue through with the passovers all the way through until he gets to a point where he has to then put the ball of his foot on the ground and lift his heel off. So he'll come to a point, puts his ball on the ground, lifts his heel, and then he gets through the lacrosse ball uh, just near the heel of his foot there as well. Okay, so this is a minute either side. So we go a minute on this foot, a minute on that foot. The next one we do is his calf. So Ryan's now going to sit down. The first spot that we're going to hit is the little intersection or where you can see your gastroc. So you can see this lovely head of gastroc here. It intersects on the back of your calf. This spot here is usually quite inflamed or tight or sore. What you'll do is you'll hit that spot. So Ryan's going to put, pop his leg on that. He's going to pop his other leg over the top here. He's going to lift his bum off the ground so he gets a little bit more leverage and weight through this spot. He's going to roll back and forth this way, not up and down. You can see him rolling back and forth, really trying to open up the tissues, get a lot of blood flow in, uh, and free up some of those tight, tight areas. Okay, And again, one minute either side, left and right. All right, the third one is our adductors. So Ryan's going to come down on to the ground here on his uh, chest, cocks his leg out to the side, roller goes up high into his groin. He's going to work from all the way up to all the way down to his knee. So just a couple of passovers, works all the way up, all the way down. On his journey, he's going to find somewhere that's hotter or tighter or sorer than any other spot. More often than not, it's going to be about 10 to 15 centimetres above your knee on the inside. He's going to hit that spot, hang out there, and he's going to go through some knee bends and knee straightens. So he's going to flex and, and extend his knee. He's going to work his leg through internal and external rotation. Again, trying to catch some of those uh, knotted, uh, uh, harder tissues and open them up a bit, get a bit of blood flow in there. Okay, so there's his groin work done. Again, minute either side. He's getting onto his TFLs now. So again, with a lacrosse ball here, we work from our groins up to a TFL. So your TFL is a little pouch of muscle just above your hip. Ryan's going to roll over onto his side and hang out on here. So to start with, you'll see he just gets his weight over it. He may work through some contract and relax. So he's going to try and contract that muscle and then relax around it, really try and open it up and be a bit passive about it. After it's opened up a little bit, He's going to roll himself from back and right, so he's just going to get his body weight and roll it back and forth over the lacrosse ball. After he's done doing that, he's going to finish off by taking more of the weight on his front leg, lifting his back leg off the ground and working it through internal rotation. So you can see he's going to try and point that foot to the sky and lift it off the ground, do as well as he can at that. Work through that again, minute either side. After that, we'll move up again to the glute, so now we're up to the butt. He works in his uh, figure four with his legs, so that is an ankle over knee. The lacrosse ball goes in the same butt cheek, which leg is up on that knee, okay? So it's all in a tight position. He'll be sitting on the lacrosse ball and he'll be working into some, into some hot spots. It's quite a big mass here, so he can, he can kind of search for an area that feels sore or tighter or more pinchy than the others and he's really going to work into those tissues and kind of grind his butt through and in and open up those those muscle fibers again. There we go, again a minute either side for each one. Moving on to the pigeon stretch now, or the swan stretch. So it's essentially an extended hip flex or a hip opener stretch. You can see his back leg is nice and straight. 
His front leg is out at 90 degrees. He's got his hand on his foot. And what Brian's trying to do is really open up and really open up this hip here. The idea is to open up this hip here and give it as much, as much space as possible. Make sure this knee is at 90 degrees though, okay? And you can block yourself with your hand there. All right, minute either side on each leg. Up onto the couch stretch now. There's a reason it's called the couch stretch because you can do it on a couch watching TV. A minute either side again. So what you do is you jam your knee hard into the back of the couch. You pop your other foot up on top of the couch. Ryan's foot is flat up against the back of it. He's coming up to standing, so he's opening opening himself up. He's opening that opening that hip up as well. Goes for a few deep breaths down to his belly. I know it keeps opening that stretch up more and more. You start to feel after a little bit of tension or release, and you feel a little bit more open for your hip flexors. Happy days. All right. Well, it's down the ground now, finishing off with the thoracic rollouts. This is the only one that you need to do for two minutes because it's just the one joint here, so or just the one uh, side. Your T-spine, he starts by giving himself a great big hug down at the bottom of his T-spine, at the top of his lumbar, okay? So you don't start up high near your shoulder blades, but down near the bottom. Okay, what he's going to do now is roll from side to side. All the same, all the same time, he's breathing hard down to his belly. So he's not breathing up at his chest, he's making sure every breath goes right down to his belly. He's rolling from either side. And you can go, and you can roll up and down. You can work your way around until you feel like a few tight, tight spots. Obviously felt a tight spot there. You roll from side to side again. Really open that up for two minutes. Okay, so that is our pre-day, pre-game rollout mobility feel awesome about yourself get into good positions don't get injured during the game session uh i hope you enjoyed it thanks guys yeah